Have you ever been ghosted? Whether it's been a few dates or even you haven't even met yet, but you've been talking on the phone and suddenly person disappears. It's really painful because the person you were dating just abruptly cut you off and cut off all contact. Ghosting doesn't leave you with closure. So in this video today, you're going to learn how to get closure when the person you're dating or you've been connected with doesn't allow for it. If we don't get closure, we get stuck in this spiral of self-doubt. And that's why ghosting is so painful because when you get ghosted, you and the person you were interested in, you haven't been able to discuss why the relationship or the connection didn't work out. And so we make up stories. Maybe the real reason is the timing was wrong or there were differences that couldn't be overcome or the person just felt was busy. I don't know. There could be so many reasons why people do this. But when you don't have closure, you create your own narrative or stories about why the relationship ended, which often turn to self-doubt, asking yourself questions. What did I do wrong? Why didn't he like me? What if I didn't say or do fill in the blank? And we can get stuck in rumination and in this cycle of crazy. Let me know in the comments if this has ever happened to you. So we need to give ourselves closure. And how do we do that? We first want to understand that the thoughts in our head are just assumptions. They are not the truth because we don't know why the person ghosted us. And the stories we make up are usually worse than the truth. And they're probably not true. So how can we stop this spiral of self-doubt? I advise you to ask yourself better questions. Instead of saying, why did he do this? Ask yourself, why would I want to date somebody who would end things without a conversation, who would be a terrible communicator? I know for me, I would never want to be in a relationship with somebody who would just ghost me, stonewall me. I want to be respected enough to have a conversation. So how can you prevent ghosting in the future? You can't fully control the behavior of others. There are always going to be people who are just terrible communicators or who are unkind and people who ghost. But there are several things you can do differently next time that might help. It might help you either prevent being ghosted or from taking it so personally and so hard. The first thing is to build trust much more slowly. We tend to get into relationships if we feel a connection and we want to just go in with totally full on and trust that person. But trust is something that gets built over time. So I don't want you to trust somebody without them showing you that they deserve your trust. The next thing you want to do differently is that if you tend to have sex early on, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you get too invested once you have sex, wait until you see that consistent interest from the person that you're dating. You'll be able to think more rationally instead of letting your sex hormones, all those bonding hormones take over your brain. And that has you ignore some red flags if you're in a relationship or somebody has ghosted you. And the third thing is don't share your vulnerabilities as quickly. People have to earn our deeper stories. So reveal them slowly once trust is built. How do we give ourselves closure? Number one, work through all the feelings you're feeling and feel them all, sadness, grief, relief, whatever it is, feel them so they don't linger and come back again and again. Because honestly, if we don't feel our feelings, they do come back. Number two, turn that inner narrative from why did he ghost me? What did I do to deserve this? To what can I learn from this? Why would I want to be with someone who's like this? Number three, if you have been dating for a while and somebody suddenly ghosted you, don't date just to fill the void or to fill that sense of loss and grief. Take time for yourself. This is an opportunity for self-care. Number four is write a letter to him, but do not send it. In that letter, you want to thank him for what you appreciated about him and the relationship. And this is if you've been in a relationship. Obviously, it's not. You've been connecting for three 
texts and he suddenly disappeared. Then tell him how you feel about how he treated you and what you wish that he would have done instead. And then wish him well and thank him for releasing you to find somebody who's more compatible and more respectful, somebody who will treat you better. Remind yourself that sometimes things don't work out and there's nothing you or your partner could have done differently. And sometimes feelings do fade. It may not feel fair to you and it may hurt, but you are okay without this person. You will be okay. And when you give yourself closure, you can build a new story for yourself, a story where you know that this man was your teacher, which is an important step to getting closer to the right relationship for you.